Hi YouTube, I'm Aemon, and welcome back to one of my gardening videos. And I know I haven't been doing this for a long time, uh, actually we've been focusing on a lot of automotive videos this summer, but finally, I want you guys to take a look at our, our daily, well, our vegetable harvest for today. So, you can see all sorts of vegetables, I think we got like uh, eggplant, green beans, uh, uh, peppers, you know. And, you know, vegetables are very important in your daily diet and have a very high significance in your life and I know that because I'm pretty sure my short stature is a result of not eating many vegetables when I when I was younger but now I'm eating more that being said there is one plant that stands out among all the other crops that we've grown and we've actually only planted it this year and it is Ulam Raja the king of herbs it's also referred to as Cosmos caudatus or Kenikir in Indonesia Ulam Raja literally translates to King Salad. And the word Ulam in Malay uh, sort of refers to this group of eating greens, like leafy plants, like in salad. And you can actually find a lot of Malaysians eating uh, Ulam Raja as salad, actually as raw. Some people also use it as a condiment. And you can actually find it in a lot of Southeastern Asian cuisine, especially Malaysian, Indonesian, and Thai. Let me clarify, uh, the word ulam is actually referring to something that can be eaten raw. So now like with uh, ulam raja, it can be eaten raw. But these can also be referred to ulam because they can be eaten raw. And when it refers to ulam, it usually refers to being able to eat with rice when it's raw. So there's actually, actually you can compare it to like in the western word, they refer to like this whole group of leaves as salad, like cabbage, spinach, anything can go into a salad. And in our home, my mom actually cooks something called nasi ulam, and it actually really tastes good. Uh, if you ever visit my house, you should try some. Uh, but it, it, it's uh, rice with um, well, ulam. All right, so I might get this wrong, but earlier I said that it would that ulam raja was actually really popular in Southeast Asia. However, it did not or originate in Southeast Asia. It actually originated in the New World in Latin America. Back in 1400, uh, Sp uh, Spaniards actually brought it through Philippines to Malaysia. And in Malaysia was the port Malacca, which was actually the, world tr the trade center of the world, basically. And that's how the Ulam Raja actually spread to Southeastern Asia, through Malaysia. <laughs> but I might have, got have gotten that wrong. Now, throughout the centuries, Ulam Raja was actually used medicinally. In Latin America, it was used to treat uh, metabolic disorders. However, in Southeast Asia, it was believed that it prevented degenerative diseases. Uh, delayed aging and improved health overall and I guess that's why you see a lot of elder Asians who still look well uh, I mean for example if you look at the recent news you would see uh, the world's uh, oldest prime minister and I'm not sure if he's eaten Ulam Raja but I'm guessing he probably does since he's actually a medical doctor uh, just for reference uh, I might butcher his name but his name is uh, Dr. Mahadir Muhammad uh, if you want to go check it out uh, he's actually pretty famous it's been on news recently um, also, there has been evidence that Ulam Raja actually does help with uh, blood circulation. Now, it reduces blood sugar, uh, helps with bad cholesterol, and actually improves good cholesterol, uh, reduces blood pressure, helps with uh, strengthening your bone and preventing blood, uh, bone loss, and uh, um, reduces inflammation. Yeah. According to research, it also has antibacterial, antifungal, and antimicrobial uh, properties, as well as being a strong antioxidant and also having a high mineral content. Most importantly, recently it has been discovered that uh, people can use Ulam Raja to treat type 2 diabetes, which uh, is a very important problem in the world right now. There are a slew of other health and medicinal benefits, but uh, I can't remember right now, uh, so I'll list them down in the description below, so uh, go check it out. Um, I guess actually I actually have a paper right here so I'll just read a few of them uh, but I'm gonna list all of them in the description down below I'm probably only gonna read like five um, it increases our body's immune system that's actually pretty good uh, increases the appetite uh, helps to heal stomach ulcers or weak stomachs uh, overcomes bad breath which I should start eating some uh, helps helps with your heart uh, like I said blood circulation uh, anti car uh, it's an anti carcinogen but I will list most of uh, actually I'll list all of its other medicinal benefits in the description down below so go check it out 